cooked up a little bit of fun for the parades. If you got headphones in, you might want to take them out. When it warms up a little, we'll wash her up. But. Me and my grandpa restored this last summer. I did most of the painting and he put the decals on because I'm not that handy with the decals. It was all mostly all original before we got it. Had about 10 pounds of grease. It's really, really dirty. Bought it off a guy, they were gonna scrap it. Put a carburetor, fresh gas, and a oil line of battery, and off she went. It's got the IH high compression piston rebuild kit. I think someone else put it in there. Either that or the dealer did because I tell you what, whoever tuned this thing knew what the hell they were doing. Just the way this thing idles. It's about 30 degrees. Which is almost a running temp. got pretty good oil pressure. That's at idle. It gets about uh, halfway, a little bit further than that when it's running. It just runs like a top. This summer I'm gonna restore uh, 1941 Farmall H. And it's going to be painted up like the U.S. Navy plane hauler on an equipment lure in memory of my grandpa. Well, I should have more videos coming this this summer. Get a rocking and a rolling at them. Hopefully, we can finish two more tractors this summer. We finished finish this H this summer. Hold on, I'm gonna cut or shut this off. I don't want to waste too much gas now. We restored this H this summer. Turn the copyright music off real quick. This is a 40H, uh, made in January of 40. It's got the 39 top bolster or covering cover, transmission cover. And this is weird. When it, I think possibly when it came out of the factory, they might have not ran out of the old style seats, or someone didn't want one when they ordered it, and they put this plate and the newer style seat on it I, th I believe I, I don't think I don't I don't know this tractor's got Tisco rebuild when we bought it it's got it had brand new front tires these are my grandpa's old tires and he uh, put on it so no, if you guys, there it goes. She's a 40. Need to get a top for this battery box soon. But it's got a matching kerosene manifold for switching it from gas to kerosene or power fuel. It's got 
It's only got one piece for the radiator shutters. But it also has a small gas starting tank with the cap. I missed a little bit on the cap. I'm going to touch it up when it warms up. But I got belt pulley. Yeah, and on this one it's got the 39 belt pulley. If you can read that, it says 111J, I believe. Uh, but on the 39s, you would sit here and you'd pull on the clutch and then use your other hand to engage the belt pulley. Whereas on newer style, it'd be on the other side and you'd push, be, uh, you'd start it on the operating platform. But yeah, J, 111J. Probably not good light down there, but 111J. It's, I believe, matching wheel weights from the factory. Yep, 21J. I believe the other one's matching. Yep, 131J. This tractor's mostly all original parts except for the tires. Probably new in the rebuild kit. Other than that, this tractor hasn't even been touched basically since we painted it. Someone had repainted it before and they painted over the original paint and it, it just didn't look very good. But it's actually got an IH muffler, which I believe could have been the original muffler. It might have been, but it's been worked, you can tell. I had it out this fall, uh, disking, uh, disking up the food plot for hunting season. And I put it in third and let her open and drop the disc and off she went. It didn't even feel like she was being worked. The lights work on this one. Both lights work. The back one, I have the light, but we were in a rush to paint it for a tractor show this year, so I never was able to put it back on. But other than that, this is a darn fine tractor. I mean, she, she really is a sweet running machine. We'll take out here to in one shed with two tractors in it. This first tractor is, uh, I believe, uh, either a 46 or a 48M. All original except for the paint on the hood. Except for that, it's mostly all original, except for the paint on the sheet metal on that piece right there. What's really cool about it, it's got the tag from the original dealer on the gas tank from a city over. And we pulled this tractor out of the barn, in the, out of a barn in the same city. And, uh, we pulled it out. It's got the M&W two-way, I believe, and hydraulic, live hydraulic, I believe. You can probably you guys will probably tell me for, if it's a 48 or a 46. Get a good look at it. I believe it's a 46. When I took this up to Plow Day. Pulled the John Deere disc with it. Can't remember the model or anything, but she's a smooth. She's just the same as all the other ones. Just a smooth running machine. Oh, you guys ought to get a kick out of this one. My grandma wanted a tractor painted. It's painted purple and white with two steering wheels and two seats for parades. Got the 12 volt mini alternator cheap lights just to give it that weird look it's got a chrome shift knob chrome uh, suicide knob 
in a cup holder. But my grandma wanted one painted and her favorite color is purple. And she she always liked the look of the Oliver uh, demonstrators, the purple. So we painted this one up and most of most of the part that we painted it purple for is suicide awareness. I've lost a few members from it, family or quite a few family members from suicide and nothing to joke about. Well let's move on to another shed. Shed over. This one's got three tractors in it. Probably won't be able to fit through with my wide butt, but this one's a 1940 BN repainted with two seats. I live in Michigan, so this one actually this one actually went across the Mackinac Bridge. This year I rolled me and my grandpa went across. This one repainted the same year as we repainted the as we repainted the C over here. This is a 48C that I really like. I just always like the feeling of the C. It's got the power of the BN and the A and it's got the sitting of the M. Squeeze on through. This one's a 48. First year the C's were made. This one we we took went through and you guys probably seen it in my cold start video of this. It uh, we went through it uh, almost a whole motor, except for the crank and the main bearings and the pistons and connecting rods, and went through the whole thing. I tell but you John Deere guys will get a kick out of this. I know a John Deere. What is that a 720 or a 620? I think it's a 720. Yeah, it's a 720. But I already know a 720 will out, will pop, out pull this old C, so don't even mess with me on that one, guys. This one I haven't put the lights on yet. I have the lights, I just need to wire them up and get bulbs. Back there's a 1940A with no starter. It has no starter. No starter at all. It's got brand new tires, all that. It's pretty straight. It's almost pretty near all there. I've got the uh, two row or three row cultivators for it. It has wheel weights. I plowed, dug up the garden with it. I guess we'll move on to the two last tractors. This one here is either a, that's what I keep getting mixed up with the 46 or 48, the other M, the unpainted one over there. This is a, this one's covered up, but it's repainted with the cheap tractor supply paint. I never really got a good process out of it, and she faded right away. But this one, my grandpa uh, rebuilt in the 70s with my uncle and he put rebuilt it with the M and W uh, fire craters and this tractor it's it's a little flunky but the loader tractor so she's harder than hell to steer not really I don't really know much about this one but as long as I know it's it's here but I finish go I guess we've had four, four other tractors. Over here we got another BN for parts, a parts tractor. The motor runs and everything, but... This transmission's got a really bad growl. Really bad growl. It's got, I believe it was a pulling tractor. 
because before we got it, it was a pulling tractor because it's got the great big tires and it's got the rack for weights that someone put on there. This one's actually got the PTO shield, unlike uh, almost all of the ends that we have. Here's the, we'll come back to this. That's that's a whole other story. Here's another BN. I don't remember what year this one is. It's, I think it's a 44 or a 45. This one's got a bad transmission. The motor runs. It's just the process of finding another transmission to fix it within price range because a lot of people think they're worth $12,000 if they're sitting in the woods for 12 years. This one, not really much of a story behind that one, but for parts. But this one, this one right here has got a lot of sentimental value to me. This is actually my great grandpa's 1943M. Almost all original except for the sheet metal. I have the, I have the original sheet metal. But this, she was worked hard, very, very hard. She had a rough life, let's just say that. Now I need to, this summer I'm hopefully, I'm just going to get an entirely new running motor and just switch it out instead of dealing with the wore out old junk. I need a new radiator. But she was, worked dry and put up wet. But this is a 43 which was made during the war, so it actually has... The IH cast iron shift knob that threads on. It actually threads on. Because during the war, they were using, putting the rubber towards the war. So if you were nice, if you were. If you had the money, you could buy rubber, but it was sure was expensive. But she needs lots of work. It's got one brand new tire, and this one's wore right out. And I believe if you can read the serial number. You can see that it's a 43. This tractor right here had this loader on it. I do not know the brand of the loader. I don't know what kind of loader. I always thought it was homemade, but actually, my house right there right across from those woods there's a great big pond and that tractor actually moved the dirt in the pond that I live at right now that's it's it's just something that gets to me it's still here after all these years well Took you for a tour through all the tractors. Might have to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos. Nope.